What's up, YouTube? For today's video, we're making Glastria Sweep. Glastria is a super cool Pokemon, and I don't only mean that because it's an ice type, right? Now, earlier on, we did a Spectra Sweep, and I thought, well, since we did Spectra, we may as well do Glastria on the same day. We've also done the Ice Rider and the Shadow Rider, too, so, and we've done Calrex, too, so all of these Pokemon in this sort of evolution forms line have been done. Now, Chilling Knee is its ability that's going to boost its attack. It's like Moxie, right? So it's a very, very strong ability. Now, this Pokemon has got uh, obviously a lot lower base speed and a little bit more tanky, so I was thinking about what I could do with it running Trick Room or something like that. Now, if you people want to check me on Twitch, this is where I do all my live streams, so if you want to come back, on me live. I do live theme teams, live Pokemon sweeps, live Shiny Hunter, and all that other stuff. Check that out in the description twitch.tv slash PeteMyYT. Okay, this was a battle against Leela or Lila. I'm not sure if I said that right. And uh, we've got a Talonflame lead here. So in this battle, I wanted to use something different than Trick Room. I wanted to be a little bit more permanent, right? So leading things off with uh, Galfetch here, I'm going to be using a uh, Thunder Wave on this Talonflame. Um, its ability could be coming uh, like a little bit of a worry too. Now, Talonflame's going to go for will o -Wisp on Galfetch. That's really not going to matter too much. Um, it is going to get rid of my Focus Ash. That's about it. So paralyzing the Talonflame, which is going to be good. It might give me a little bit of a chance to, uh, you know, use one of my next Pokemon. So Glacier, as I mentioned at the start, right, is a very slow Pokemon. So I want to do something about its speed. It's got good bulk and it's got good offense. But I need to do something about its speed. So I'm going to be using a uh, Combuscadus. It's, uh, this is back in the game. I thought I'd give it a go. Now, this Pokemon Shiny actually changed, uh, interesting enough, uh, Apparently, a couple of Pokemon uh, shinies changed, so it looks a little bit different. So we're going to be throwing up a substitute there, considering uh, we got a Paralyze, and I'm running max speed and max health with Everlight. It's a bulky, as uh, speed boosting set. So what I'm going to be doing is just giving it a little bit of speed, and that's basically it. I've got speed boost and agility on this set, substitute and protect. So I want to pass as much speed on as possible. Now the great thing about this is I actually got a Paralyze. A lot of the time I would at least get one Paralyze. That would almost enable me to be able to pass a sub onto the Glass and, you know, just whatever move the opponent throws at you, you can kind of tank here. And uh, here we've got a lot of speed boosts up here. We're going to get those uh, speed boosts off to Glacier and see if we can get this sweet, people. Enjoy. <laughs> Unfortunately, Mel Metal stopped me in my tracks. I was very, very close to getting the KO there. Just Mel Metal's pure bulk allowed it to live. Anyway, let's get on to the second battle. We've got a Cloyster lead here. I'm going to be setting all kinds of stuff up against this thing. I thought it might be a Shell Smash, so the first thing I did was use Thunder Wave. Uh, and it turned out it was not going to be Shell Smash. It's going to be a uh, Ice Shard and Razor Shell set. And it's going to be a uh, Mix set. It's got like Hydro Pump as well, which is pretty crazy. Now, I'll live on one health there, plug my merch, and now we're going to go into Kabuska. So Kabuska is going to try and get a couple of speed boosts up uh, for our friend Glastria. And that's pretty much all I need to do here. Um, I had a pretty good setup here because I got a paralyzed once again and a free sub pass. Enjoy.
All right, people, I hope you enjoyed today's Western-style Pokemon sweeps of the horse. I thought the music was very fitting for both the uh, Spectria and uh, Glacier sweep. Let's have a look at its moveset real quick. So we got, uh, on this one, max speed and max attack. Usually I want a bulky one, but I tried to run a speedy one today. So the main stab on it was Icicle Crash, which is only 85 base power and 90 to actually. A lot of the time I found this move would miss, so normally it was uh, obviously safe using it in Dynamax, right? Now we had close combat there for a little bit of coverage against, of course, Steel type and stuff and also bolstering my attack in the Dynamax. I had high horsepower for fire types and also bolstering my special defense and I also had throat chop on there just for a little bit of coverage. Most of the time you'll find you use icicle crash and I'd say close combat. That'd be the most two common moves to use. Now the EV spread I ran normally. I'd normally run this one as a max health and max uh, attack set and you could pop on assault vest too. That would be a really good thing to run uh, even in singles and doubles. That would work very nicely. It's definitely not speed speed enough to, like, it doesn't even get any speed moves, it doesn't even get, like, any flying type moves, I was going through every one of its moves, even its special ones, there's not one flying move, so I was hoping I could get a max airstream, but that wasn't really possible, right, now, the item I've got on this one was Assault Vest, it, obviously, it's a little bit, uh, it gives it a little bit of extra bulk, you could run Life Orb, anything like that, I decided to go for the Assault Vest, anyway, people, that is gonna be it for the, uh, Glacier and Spectra Sweep, hope you enjoy this one, tomorrow I've got two theme teams, hope you're looking forward to them. Peace.